And according to health officials in Saskatchewan, three people in the province have died after getting the flu. Now locally, Prairie North Health will continue to run regular flu clinics, but officials say because of the increase in demand, more clinics are being scheduled. But we do have ongoing clinics that were, you know, occurring and they were already scheduled for January 10th, 24th of January, February 7th, February 28th, and March 14th, and their morning clinics in the, at the uh, co-op plaza. Now, for more information on flu clinics in your area, you're asked to contact your local public health office. A 26-year-old cut knife man is facing charges of aggravated assault after turning himself in to the North Balford RCMP. Police say the man was arrested in connection to a stabbing in that city late last month on 104th Street. Now, at the time, a male victim was found suffering a single stab wound to the chest area and a second victim suffered head injuries from a blunt object. Both were treated in hospital, but police say both victims and witnesses are not cooperating. Now, the suspect is scheduled to make his first court appearance in North Balford provincial court on Monday. Well, it's taken nearly seven years to come into effect, but the lights are out on incandescent bulbs. The Conservatives have now implemented a federal ban on the classic round light bulbs, now to be replaced by more energy efficient ones. As Anastasio explains, although the new light bulbs are environmentally friendly, consumers may have to shell out a bit more out of their pockets. If you're looking to stock up on these old-fashioned light bulbs in the next few months, you may be out of luck. Effective January 1st, 75 and 100 watt incandescent bulbs are being taken off shelves, and the 40 and 60 watt versions will be banned at the end of the year. The difference is energy savings. The compact fluorescent will save you energy. CFLs or compact fluorescent lamps and LEDs will take over the incandescents. It may be a huge cost at first, going from a 75 five cent incandescent to an eight dollar CFL bulb but Debbie Erlacher says it saves you money in the long run. You're getting the same amount of light output but you're using 60 watts with this light bulb 23 with this light bulb as consumption mm -hmm. so saving you you know more than half of your power consumption in choosing this bulb over this bulb a little bit bigger a little bit bulkier and a little bit more money but same amount of light. Stores like Accent Lighting will be allowed to continue selling existing stocks of incandescents from their manufacturers. They're not allowed to make them any longer as of January 1st, so we cannot, they cannot manufacture them, but they have to deplete their stock. So they're going to keep selling to us, we're going to keep selling to you guys until our stock is gone. Although the ban has gained praise from the environmentally conscious, the federal government still has yet to create a recycling program for the old bulbs, which mostly end up in the landfill. But Erlacher says more people are switching to CFLs. I'd say probably half and half right now are buying the energy efficient anyways, so yeah, it's a good thing in my eyes. Anna Stanislaw, UCAP News.